So this is a Bonneville T100 from 2017 and I'm going to show what's involved in changing the oil. First thing we have to do is put the bike on the side stand. This is so that we can loosen the oil filter that's located underneath here. It's a real bitch to get at and I don't have a wrench that'll fit it and uh, the local car store didn't have any, anything small enough so I'm going to use this rubber strap wrench and I'm going to loosen it. I'm not going to undo it and take it off because there's going to be oil everywhere but I'm just going to try and loosen it. It's a little fiddly this is a terrible place to put an oil filter and especially needing a wrench that can't be bought. There, okay, I've got it loose. Boy, I wouldn't want that to be tight or you'd, ne you'd never get the damn thing off. So now it's finger loose and I'm okay. Now I'm going to put the bike on the sander stand and put the drain pan underneath and start, take, start draining the oil. So right here is the drain plug and of all stupid things to do, they decided they're going to use an 8 millimeter Allen key to, open, to get it off. Why they couldn't just use a plain old socket is beyond me. But, oh well. Dumb ideas. So I'm just going to loosen that. There we go. Got it loose. And put the drain pan underneath. And remove the plug by hand here. Now that I've got it loose. And there she blows. So there's that 8mm uh, eight eight millimeter Allen key of all stupid things to do. And it takes 3.2 liters, which is a hell of a lot of oil. And I'll let that drain before I take the, the oil filter off. Okay, let's see if we can get that oil filter out of there while it's draining. Just move this this way. And here it comes. I'm gonna see how much oil I get in my hands when this oil filter comes off. Lots. Ick. Make sure you have paper towel handy when you do that. To help it drain faster, you can take off the filler and that'll let some air in. It says it's going to use cast. We should use Castrol, but this part of the world we can't buy Castrol. I'm going to use a substitute. Okay, now you can see it's still dripping. But it's coming to a stop and it's got oil dripping everywhere on the, on the bottom. So you want to make sure you have newspapers down and a good wide drain pan. Now before I put this, this drain plug back in, I'm going to put this, this compression ring on top. Um, it's an easy thing to miss, but you want to put a new one on every time. Now the torque spec on this nut or, or drain plug is 25 newton meters, so I've got a torque wrench. And I'm going to stick that in there and uh, get that on. In the little hole there. Fortunately I have a, a torque wrench with a ratchet on it. So it's going a little easier. But I'd have to say, you know, what kind of idiot engineer would use an 8 millimeter Allen key for something like this. There we go, got it. So it's torqued down to the right spec. And now I gotta put on the oil filter. So I've got a brand new Triumph brand oil filter. I'm just gonna prime it with new oil on the ring here and then screw it on. Um, now it does say I'm supposed to torque this down to 10 newton meters but there's no there's no socket that big enough to fit this so it's like how can I do that so the best I can do is hand tighten it and give it a little extra beyond hand tight and that's about it there so I've just smeared some some brand new oil on on the on the o-ring there get it primed and now I'll screw it into place really have to say bad engineering to put an oil filter in a place like this. Like how the hell am I supposed to tighten that or even get it off? There, I've got the drips absorbed. Now to attempt to tighten that. Of course it's slippery. I can't get a good grip on the oil filter. 
because it's now oily on the outside. Well, I've got it finger tight, but if I wanted a 10 newton meters, that's quite a bit tighter than, than finger tight. So I'm going to put the, the bike on its side and use the strap and tighten it a little bit. Okay, so I put the bike back on the side stand. And now I'm going to give it just a little bit of tightening. Because it does say 10 newton meters, which is much more than finger tight. And I'll just get it a little bit tighter. That's more than I could do by hand. There. So I'd say the best I can do is guess that's 10 newton meters. A little bit tighter than I would do by hand, which I normally do for an oil filter. Okay, so the specs say that this engine needs 3.2 liters. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put 2.5 liters in through the filler hole here. And I'm going to use this uh, measuring device to, to measure it. And I'm going to use 10W40, and this is synthetic. So I can't really show this because I can't, can't set up the camera and film it. But anyways, I'll put in 2.5 liters and then we'll start it and then add more until it's just right. So I've put in three liters of oil exactly in here and this has bring, brought the oil level in the sight glass to exactly full. Now I haven't run the engine and the oil filter is empty so I know I'm probably going to have to put in another 200 milliliters. So I'm just going to run the engine and then take another look. Okay, so I'm going to start it and get the oil running. So that shows that I've got to add more because now the oil in the sight glass is way down, way below where you can see it. So I'm going to put in another 200 mLs and then we should be fine. I've got the oil at exactly where it should be. So it's right between the two lines and everything looks good. So that's how you change the oil.